Hello and welcome to reality, the next generation photorealistic virtual studio solution from Zero Density. I would like to talk about a few aspects of virtual studio production and uh, the, the most important thing is the rendering quality. We are making uh, two uh, a camera shot today for you. Jeep tracking is provided by Stipe and the pedestal tracking is handled by uh, an image-based tracking device called Star Tracker from Moses. So I would like to tell uh, a few unique features that reality have. So let's go to somewhere else so that I can describe. Okay, so the second important thing in Virtual Studio is your keyer. Reality has a built-in keyer called Reality Keyer. Okay, and Reality Keyer is uh, a software-based, GPU-accelerated, uh, internally composited in 3D space Keyer, which is tracking aware. It's an innovation from Zero Density. It's a patent-pending technology. Uh, what can you do with this Keyer? Well, we can handle soft shadows better than uh, any other. So. As you can see, if I move my feet like this, you will see that I'm casting some soft shadow on the green floor. Well, our gear can take advantage of it and we use it as contact shadow. That makes me, you know, really look like I'm actually walking on the virtual floor. The contact shadows are important. Without it, your talent will look like he's floating on, on the screen. Reality gear can handle this very well. Um, apart from that, Reality Keyer is very good at detail. So, right now, I'm giving you, showing you hair detail, and you can probably see every thread uh, in, my, in my hair, every single thread. Okay? Very, very happy with the performance and quality. And also, we can handle complex, harder things like this water bottle. Transparent object keying works out of the box in Reality Keyer. A very, very, uh, we, we believe Reality Keyer is the best performing keyer on the market today. Okay, so let's go to somewhere else. Well, you probably immediately noticed I am my reflection on, on the piano. So it's not a fake. It's not a texture that is mapped, copied over. These are called screen space reflections calculated in real time. All you need to do is to drop a uh, reflective material on, on any object, in this case, the piano. You can also see that my head is actually reflecting through this uh, sphere, glass sphere, right? So every, every detail works uh, as it would do in, in, in real life. So you probably also noticed when I changed into this shot, my uh, color became a little bit warmer. That's because we're receiving a lot of sunlight from the windows outside and it's a warmer environment and I, then I become warmer also. That means we have separate color correction control on each shot of the talent, a very important feature. We do support depth of field, uh, obviously. Um, you can see that the camera right now focused on me. Now it will focus on the trees in the back and the other way around. So you can see I'm getting out of focus when the trees are focused. It works as expected. It works naturally uh, with the information coming from from the lens. Uh, depth of field support in reality here works naturally like you would do in normal uh, production. Okay, let's move. Another spot in the same virtual house, you can see the reflections, you can see uh, the rendering quality. Maybe the second camera can give you a more detail like you see. The kitchen equipment is also reflecting me. So we are internally composited in 3D space with the help of Reality Keyer. We are in the virtual world. That is very important. There is one more use of those contact shadows that I've just shown you. We can interact with the virtual environment in a better way because I can cast 
shadows and I can take advantage of them and it will make me interact with the virtual world. Again, a very, very important feature if you want to go photorealistic. Yes, some objects can be in the front, some can be in the back. Reality handles this very, very well and it's not a layer-based, uh, you know, front or back thing. It's in 3D world, it's in 3D space. You all have your reasons to go out and buy a virtual system and one of those reasons is you have limited space uh, so you want to take advantage of this green box and extend your set. It can be big like um, this uh, lake house or, uh, or it can be an island, it can be a forest, whatever. But most of the systems with tracking cannot handle those big set designs very well. Reality can. So tracking still continues. I'm here at the balcony. Hello. And now we can fly back to, uh, to our original shot whilst the tracking continues. A very, very unique feature from reality. Now you can take advantage of your big set designs and actually have a use for, uh, for those kind of sets. Well, any source, any video input, uh, it can be an SDI signal, it can be an NDI stream from TriCaster, uh, it can be uh, a video clip that is stored on your engines, uh, you can use as a texture uh, to map on any object in 3D uh, world. This is a TV for this instance, but it can be any, any other object. So let's, let's get rid of it. And also, we have particles. I know it's not very common to have, you know, fire uh, in the middle of the house, but this is for demos purposes. Uh, but the important thing that you should notice is the fire heat haze is actually affecting my legs. That means, again, we are internally composited. And the fire, if you look from wide shot, you can see that the fire is actually affecting the environment. It's a little bit warmer now, so let's just turn fire off and then you will notice that the fire is actually interacting with the environment. Anything, any, any particle, any uh, effect that you can create. Well, mixing the, uh, the virtual world and the real objects are, is a hard task and actually we call it uh, mixed reality. So who can tell which carpet is real and which one is not? That is what we call reality. Thank you very much for watching.